Hi everybody. Welcome to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It's kind of loud out here. We're starting our video off at Harbor Freight. There's something I want for my solar panels in here. As most of you know, I have the Harbor Freight 45 watt uh, solar system and the Harbor Freight Thunderbolt 100 watt solar system. And today I'm going to combine them together and they make an eight panel hub in here. And I have seven panels, so let's go buy it. All right, so I have this 100 watt uh, kit. It's four 25 watt panels. And I also have the 45 watt kit that has three of these 15 watt panels. But their open voltage of both the 15 watt panels and the 25 watt panels um, are about the same open voltage, right around 20, 21 volts. So I am going to put all seven of my panels together with this hub right here. So this has eight hubs and it has the right connections. And only problem I think I'm going to run into is I just have this 100 watt um, charge controller uh, and I'm going to put 145 watts into it but I think I will get away with it because my solar panels you know aren't perfectly uh, efficient or whatever so I don't think I'll get 145 watts all the time but if I burn it up I will buy this 500 watt charge controller it's 80 bucks, but I'm going to avoid spending that 80 bucks. This hub is only uh, 17, and I think I have a uh, coupon, right? Yep, 20% off. All right, so let's buy this and take it home and see how quickly I burn up my charge controller. Awesome. 45 watt kit. Whoa, we have a dirt devil coming through. A dust devil. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. All right, let's go pick up that. Shoot this in a second again. Next, after the dirt devil blowing things around, my air conditioner wants to come on. So I'm gonna go turn it off for this video too. Okay, the panels are dirty, dirty, but these are the three Harbor Freight Thunderbolt 15 watt solar panels. So they come in that kit and they make the 45 watt kit. But I'm going to combine all my panels together. And the point I'm trying to make is the open circuit voltage of one of these 15 watt panels is, I hope you can see that, 21.2 volts. Okay? So these are my four 25 watt panels that come with the Harbor Freight Thunderbolt 100 watt uh, solar panel kit and I'm now going to check the open voltage of them because this hub here will handle uh, 400 watts, about 400 watts so you can plug four of these 100 watt kits into it or even more like almost eight of these uh, 45 watt kits into this hub and it will handle it but I'm going to plug these uh, panels in individually into the hub and we need to make sure that the open voltage of the 15 watt panels and the 100 watt panels um, I believe the rule is about 10 percent voltage of each other um, and then they'll work together and I'm trying to get this output right here is going to be close to 145 watts to charge my batteries uh, quicker and have more power during the day in general. So the 15 watt panel again is 21.2 volts. I'll turn off the camera and plug in the voltmeter to one of the 25 watt panels and we'll see what we get. Okay, I now have the voltmeter hooked up to one of the 25 watt panels and you can see that I'm getting 22, 22.1 open volts open current volts and I believe the other one said 21 so there's no problem at all plugging these all together into that hub so that's that's my point is I believe you can plug the 15 watts 
into this hub, three of them, with the four of these. And in the next shot, I'll have those hooked up. Hi, everybody. So I just said that I would uh, turn the camera back on when I got everything hooked up. But if you saw my video, uh, that would be yesterday. Um, I had a little problem with charge controllers and went to Harbor Freight and they set me all up. So at this point, if you have not seen my solar video from yesterday, I suggest you watch that one. Um, and then continue uh, back here. The one from yesterday is only like four and a half minutes. And then I'm going to carry on uh, from the first part of this video to today. This is about 24 hours later. It'll all make sense if you watch yesterday's video. Are you confused, camera lady? No, I completely understand. <laughs> so I'm going to go watch your video. I left off that saying I would have them all hooked up to the uh, hub here. So, but what I had to do, because Harbor Freight uh, pretty much gave me another three panels kit for $30, um, I don't know why this is floating around here, but um, so I have those three panels, which are 15 watt panels each, connected to their hub, to their, uh, I wonder what you call these things, combiner or something, and then that 45 watts into here. And this is another three 15 watt panels uh, combined, and so 45 watts here. And then I have all four of those, those are 25 watt panels each for 100 watts. One, two, three, four, all into the hub. So my maximum uh, output of the solar panels is 195 um, watts. This is my 500 uh, watt. Um, charger, let me back up a second. These hubs will handle 400 watts, and I just have 195 watts going into them. Um, I think I proved earlier in this video the, the open circuit voltage of the 15 watt solar panels is really close to the open watt, uh, open uh, circuit voltage of the 25 watt panels. So that's why they're all working through here. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. So then I have the output of all the solar panels coming into a 500 watt um, charge controller. And you can see, if the camera can see, the open voltage is 21 volts, which is fine. And my batteries are charged. My batteries are putting out uh, right now 13.3 volts and that's really charged and um, down here now I have uh, both of my 35 amp batteries running in parallel so the negative to the negative and the positive to the positive and then I just have um, a 750 watt uh, DC to AC power inverter connected um, this system is really good so so just to put a load on it, I'll turn on the inverter, and I just have a fan running. Awesome! But everything is awesome. Um, there was something, oh, there's one more thing I want to say. Let me turn off that fan. So there's another confusing thing about guys using these solar systems. So these batteries, these Harbor Freight batteries, and I guess most AGM 12-volt batteries, um, when they're fully charged, are about 13 to 13.5 volts, okay? So these batteries, as we all know, the AGM batteries, you only want to deplete them about 50% to recharge them. So I'm not going to get into the amp hours and everything that I have here with the voltage because that's in a former um, solar video I did. I don't really want to repeat all that just for time of this video. But my point is, um, these batteries are sitting at 13.5 volts, fully charged. Um, the voltage on the batteries will read about 12.2 uh, .2 volts to 12.3 volts. When your batteries are drained to that, that's about 50% of the charge. And you're going to want to recharge them and not deplete them anymore. Okay, mm -hmm. so about 13.5 volts, mine are reading fully charged, 
and I would only drain these batteries down to about 12.3. If I had to have more power, maybe I'd go down to 12.2 volts, and then that's all the power I would use. It's never going to happen during the sun if I don't use more than 150 watts, but I hope that makes sense. Um, leave comments if you have any questions or whatever. I'm happy to, uh, to answer them. But that's about it. This is my system. I don't think I'm going to make any changes to it um, unless something comes up. But the next time you'll see these panels is hopefully when I'm putting some of them on top of our uh, 2017 uh, 2500 Ram ProMaster van. Because that's why we have this setup is to have power in the van. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope everybody's having a great day. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye. Bye.